job making sure everything is clean and tidy for our patients, staff, and guests. These tasks can be very demanding on your body, so we're going to give you some tips to reduce these demands. These tips will help make your work less demanding so you can go home with more energy to spend quality time with your family, cook, take a walk, or even work out. Let's get started. Stop for two seconds and think about the task you're about to perform. Ask yourself, what equipment do I need to perform this task safely? Taking these two seconds will often be just enough time for you to rethink your plans, make an adjustment, or recognize a hazard. Taking two will allow you to make sure that all your bottles are labeled properly, you have all the PPE and materials available to help you complete your work safely. Also, when removing your dirty gloves, make sure you are not rushing. Take extra two seconds to remove them carefully to avoid any skin contact with the contaminants or chemicals. The take two principle can and will make a difference. This is a position for every part of your body where your muscles are in their strongest and your body is the most protected. It typically looks something like this. When you're doing physical work, the closer you can get each part of your body into the power position, the stronger and safer you will be. This principle basically means keeping your work or what you're lifting as close to you as possible. This helps maintain the natural curves of your back. When cleaning the floors with a wet mop or a broom, it's important to keep the mop or broom close to your body while making an S shape as if you were dancing. Be sure to avoid bending or excessive reaching. Always make sure to have signage to prevent anyone from slipping and falling. When you are reaching for an item, you want to try and build a bridge with either a hand or a foot in order to protect your back. For example, when lifting an item off the floor, stagger your feet and put one hand on your knee to build a bridge to reduce the load on your body to perform the task. There are plenty of times you need to reach for an item. Rather than bending forward and reaching, put one hand out and use it as a base of support. If you have to lift something with two hands, simply stagger your feet by positioning one foot forward for support. It is easy to determine if you're building a bridge or not. As your upper body is moving forward, if you've built a bridge, you will feel the weight of your upper body on your forward arm or the forward leg. If you don't feel it on an arm or a leg, the weight is on your back. Again, build a bridge when you can. Your back will thank you. When you warm up, you increase the blood flow to your muscles, which enhances muscle flexibility and lubricate your joints to help your body perform at its maximum potential. Quite literally, stretching throughout the day helps your muscles breathe and allows them to continue to work efficiently. These principles applied at work and at home will help keep you safe and give you more energy at the end of your workday. Remember, Your body will thank you. Have a great day.